<laughs> okay, kids, welcome back to another Kid Funko Christmas story. Hey, guys, welcome back. Hey, when you comment, we give growl outs. And I give snowy shout outs. When you like, that keeps us knowing that we're doing the right thing for you, kids. Mm-hmm. And when you subscribe... We know you want more. Then if you got any great story ideas, they could be ripe for our Kid Funko exclusive line of books mm -hmm. where you are the creator. And we just kind of put on a show that, you know, we, you inspired. We perform your creativity. Right. And we'll give you the super shout out. What book do we have today, Snows? Huh? What booger do we have today, Snows? <laughs> what book do we have today, Snows? Hmm, well, the kids that got notified know it's a little red elf. The ones that don't know now. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right, let's get going. Once upon a time, there was a reindeer, a penguin, a hare, and a little red elf. They all lived together in a comfy, cozy workshop. The reindeer liked to snooze in the straw. The penguin liked to relax in the bathtub. The hare liked to hibernate by the hearth. That left the little red elf to get all the workshop work done. She swept the sawdust and boxed the bulbs. She organized the tools. She stirred the paint and untangled the lights. She shoveled the path and checked the mail and polished the sleigh. She's sweeping the sawdust at 9 o'clock. At 9.30, she's boxing the bulbs. At 10 o'clock, she decides to organize the tools. Oh, yeah. 11 o'clock, it looks like she's uh, over there stirring the paint and tagging lights at 11.30. Once, it looks like she's uh, taking a break and having some food. Yeah, it looks like lunch. Looks like lunchtime. 1.30, she's checking all that mail. Oh, wow. 3 o'clock, she's polishing the sleigh. Nice. And 4 o'clock, it looks like she is pooped. Oh, she's a little she red elf, that is. all by herself. Pooped. One day, while she was filling the bird feeders, she came upon some pine cones. Who will help me plant these pine cones? asked the little red elf. Not I, said the reindeer. Not I, said the penguin. Did someone say something? Mumbled the hare. Then I will, said the little red elf. And she did. Soon a little pine tree began to push through the ground. Who will help me water the pine tree? Chirped the little red elf. Not I, said the reindeer. No thanks, said the penguin. <sniffs> Snored the hare. Not a problem, I'll do it myself, said the little red elf. Each morning, the little red elf watered the pine tree. She was delighted to see it grow straight and tall. Says, tra la 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 la, we are going to fish. Mm -hmm. Finally, the pine tree was ready. The little red elf asked her friends, Who will help me bring the tree into the workshop? Not I, said the reindeer. Blub blub, squirted the penguin. <laughs> snorted the hare. Well, I love being busy, said the little red elf with the most positive of attitudes. The little red elf got her shovel and dug and dug and dug. She lifted the tree into a bucket and carefully brought it into the workshop. When the tree was positioned just the right way, the little red elf asked, Who will help me string the lights on the tree? Not I, said the reindeer. What's with all the questions, said the penguin. <sighs> Ten more minutes. <sighs> grumbled the hare. Then I'll handle it, said the little red elf. After the lights were up, the little red elf grew tired. I don't suppose there's anyone here who might assist me in putting ornaments on the tree, she begged. Not I, said the reindeer. They float away, don't they, said the penguin. Huh, huh, what? Who's there? said the hare. The little red elf took a deep breath. That's okay. I can do this, she exclaimed. Soon the workshop began to glow and sparkle. Ooh, said the reindeer. Ah, said the penguin. You missed a sport, said the hare with one eye open. Now that I have your attention, the little red elf said with a smile, who will help me put out milk and cookies? Not I, said the reindeer. Why bother saying yes now, said the penguin. I'm allergic, said the hare. No big deal said the little red elf. The next morning, piles and piles of presents sat under the tree. Everyone was up very early for a change. The little red elf raised an eyebrow, though her voice was as sweet as ever. Who will help me open the presents? I will, said the reindeer. I will, yelled the penguin. I want the big one, screamed the hare. With that, the little red elf put her hands out and shouted, Stop! 
I planted the tree, I watered the tree, I brought the tree into the workshop, I strung the lights, I decorated the tree, I put out the milk and cookies, now I'm going to open all the presents myself. The reindeer, the penguin, and the hare stood very still. They were shocked. Then they began to cry. <laughs> the little red elf put her hands down. Oh, please don't cry, she said. I'm sorry. Of course you can open the presents. The reindeer, the penguin, and the hare dove into the gifts. Paper and ribbon flew through the air. What did you get? asked the little red elf. Ah, the perfect gifts for you. Thank you, Santa, she said. You know, kids, I wonder, what is the most presents you've ever opened up on a Christmas? Comment that and get a snowy, snowy shout out. Right, Fuzz? Yeah, and get a great big growl out. But you gotta make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share. Okay, kids. Let's get out of here. Candy cane. Okay, bye, whoa, kids. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. Bye, kids. Bye.